everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be going through some of the things I've bought secondhand for my home. To buy secondhand is usually cheaper and you get things that no one else has so you have a more unique, characterful home. So my main sources for buying secondhand are Facebook Marketplace and charity shops. So I'm going to start going through a few bits from Facebook Marketplace and then I'll move on to the rest of the things. So I'm going to start with this actual table that I'm sitting at right now. Um, my dad actually found this on Facebook Marketplace. It's a six-seater and it's extendable dining table. It's like oval. It's kind of a mid-century modern style. It's got legs that splay out like this. And it was only £25. Now, although he had to go and pick it up, so you have to have like a car big enough to collect large items, it was only a few miles down the road and it's so useful and so cheap for a dining table. So it does have a few marks here and there and then I've also added to the patina of the uh, table, but because it doesn't matter because it was cheap and, and I'm not precious about it, it just makes it look more lived in. And to go with the dining table, I also needed some chairs. And I had a really good bit of luck with these chairs. I think I got them the day they were posted, maybe an hour after they were posted. There are these that I'm sitting on. They are originally from Habitat. They're all, they're four orange chairs. I got them for 80 pounds for the four, so that's 20 pounds a chair. And I had a look, they were still on sale on the Habitat website at 80 pounds per chair. So I basically got three chairs for free. The owner had only had them a year, then they just decided to change their scheme. That's what she told me. So yeah, I went to collect them in my little car. They all fit. It was about a 10 minute drive down the road, so it was super convenient. So when I'm looking on Facebook Marketplace, I might have nothing in mind. I'm just browsing just to see if anything pops up that I fancy buying. But for the next two items, I specifically searched for those things. So the first is my coffee table. I'd been wanting to change my coffee table because it was something old and it was like a makeshift situation. So I wanted a proper coffee table. And I came across this one on it was around my birthday where I found it and I was just browsing the marketplace for coffee tables it came up and it looked very similar to this dining table so it has like a mid-century modern feel to it it has displayed legs it's kind of rounded corners so it was like a nice mini version of my dining table and because my dining room and sitting room are next to each other you can see them both in the same space so I thought it was perfect and I picked it up for £25 from a town a few miles away. After I got it home, it did have a white edge around it, I'll show you some images. And I just painted it black, the white paint was chipping, it didn't look particularly great. Um, so yeah, so I just painted it black and then it fit in with all my other decor. And the final thing from Facebook Marketplace in this video is my wicker chair that I have in my bedroom. This is an Ikea chair and I looked on their website and it was about £25-£30. This chair was similar price to that, it was £20, but it was in great shape and it was only about a five minute drive from where I live. So it saved me also a trip to Ikea to buy the other chair. Okay, so let's move on to things that I find in charity shops. I do tend to have a quick browse in them when I'm in town, just a quick nip in, see if I spot anything that I fancy. Sometimes I do find things and then I resist buying them because you can have too much clutter and too many of, of one thing. So one day I was browsing the charity shop, not looking for anything particular, and these candlesticks really caught my eye. They were in a collection, I think, of nine or seven other items, but I just wanted the candlesticks and I didn't want to buy the bundle. I think the bun, yeah, so it was seven pounds for the bundle and it was like trinket dishes and things that I just wouldn't use. I, would, I didn't want the bother of like selling them on or anything like that. 
I was like, well, the charity shop can keep those items. I literally just want candlesticks. I asked the person working there and they did eventually give me the candlesticks. I said I would just offer the seven pounds for just the candlesticks because I thought it was worth it. Three pound fifty. They're so lovely. They're, um, they're actually up here. So, let me take that out. So they have really lovely etched detail and a amber glass, which is I think quite unique for a candlestick. I've not really seen many this colour. They're normally they're normally glass, they're normally clear glass. So yeah, I've got a pair of those for £3.50 each. While I'm talking about glassware, I do have quite a few glasses, wine glasses from charity shops because I find that you can get some really like cool, unique items that usually per glass is quite expensive from a shop. But in charity shops, they're basically like one pound, what, uh, 50p, 20p even per glass, depending on what it is. And I'm really drawn to this. And I think if I, like I have a fear of like breaking the glasses and if they were only like 50p, that kind of makes me feel less painful about breaking them. I've got these, I've got these smoked, they're like brown smoked glasses, tumblers. They were for four, they were a set of four. They were 50p each. So it's like two pounds for four glasses. And I thought they were really on trend. I've seen lots of smoked glass around, usually ribbed smoked glass, but obviously these are just uh, smooth glass. But for 50p each, I couldn't turn them down. And then I got two green wine glasses. They're like a bit more chunky. I uh, like something I've never seen them, like seen wine glasses like this before. And they just caught my eye with because they were so vibrant. I think they were 50p or one pound per glass too. And then my other piece of glassware is this bowl that I would say is like a trifle bowl and six small little cup dishes. I don't know what you call them. It all stacks really nicely. So the big bowl and then you can stack the cups, one in the middle, four around the outside and then one on top. So you can carry it all together which I find really fascinating that it all fits like that. They're a lovely pale pink. I can just imagine like dishing up a dessert and having a lovely dinner party like pudding in them. I definitely bought this on a whim as well. I'm pretty sure it was like six, seven pounds for the whole set. So my next item is a major feature in my home. It's my lovely sideboard. It again has this like mid-century feel to it. I think it is vintage. It's got these lovely handles that are like a circle. I think they're, they're like antique brass. I think if I clean them up, they would become more brassy, but I quite like the old look of them. I think my mom saw this in a charity shop near where she lives and it had a mirror on top. So it was a sold as a dressing table. The easiest thing to do is just take the mirror off, use that as an, in a separate, as a separate item. And then you have a lovely sideboard. It's got beautiful like curved drawers as well. So the actual edges of the drawers are curved and it's just a real lovely statement piece. I keep looking over there because it's, it's over there. Another thing I like buying from charity shops is books. You can get some really beautiful old books. It's always worth taking the, the cover off if it's a hardback, just to see what colour the book is underneath, whether it has any like nice gold writing on it. I tend to go for books that I like the title of and I like the colour. I don't want anything in my home that doesn't really fit with my like likes or dislikes. I recently bought this book, I've actually got it here. It's The Secret Garden and it did have a, a jacket on it. I took it off in the shop just to check what it was like and it's got beautiful like gold writing on the edge and it has this sweet little like embossed girl on the front. It also has pictures So it also has pictures in it, so I thought that was really sweet. And I do really like the story. It was all, it all went together. The colour is really lovely because it's obviously had the jacket on, so it's still quite bright. And then I have another one here. This is also a blue book. 
This is called the Blue Lagoon. It's quite nice from the side, but it's a lot bluer on the front. It also has this embossed like ring of flowers with the Blue Lagoon title. They're just so much nicer than like new books. The pages are old and like speckled with brown dots, they're like brown dots, some of them are falling out. So it's got some real age to it, this book. Usually I buy books that are maybe one to five pounds per book. If I really like one, then I will spend a little bit more if it's going somewhere like specific rather than just with a load of other books. So my final two items are my free items and it's always worth if you're moving into a new place asking your family and friends if they have anything that they don't want anymore, would they were planning to sell it but then couldn't be bothered or you may hear them talking about something that they don't even like anymore and you're like oh that's actually quite my style, can I have a look at it? So. When my uncle knew that I was moving into this house, he was recently getting rid of his sofa. And selling a sofa is actually really difficult because you usually don't get very much money for it. And it's very bulky. Someone has to like transport it away. So they're not normally keen on doing that. So my uncle offered me this sofa for free and my dad strapped it to the top of his car and we drove it around. Luckily it was only, it's in the same town, so it wasn't too far to go. And although it's not brand new, it's still really useful for me. It's super comfy, I still really like it. And it saved me so much money from getting a brand new sofa. And then my last item is the chest of drawers that I have in my spare bedroom. My best friend gave me these. They didn't fit her like aesthetic anymore. She wanted something new. And I think she got it free from her auntie like years before. So it's been passed down. It was cream when I first got it, but I wanted it a brighter color. I painted it green. I kept the old handles on it as well because I was gonna change them, but handles sometimes are a bit expensive. So I just left them at the minute. I think they look quite nice, they look good enough. Yeah, and it was so useful in the spare bedroom when I first moved in. I had all my clothes in it, and now I've left it in there for guests. I could always repaint it at a later date to fit in with any new decor. It's got really nice features. I really like the fact that it has like three little drawers in the middle. I think that's really cute. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it here. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.